There are so many good things that we can use technology for in terms of advancing education. We're absolutely committed to that. That's why at the Ministry of Education, we've, we've included and, and have as a part of the Ministry of Education science and technology. Very, very important to the future of education. So these devices in partnership with Build Belize um, Inc. and the Ministry of Tourism and Diaspora Affairs, um, that's what this is about, my young friends, with making sure that for your education that you are equipped with the tools. We can't tell you, well, oh, we want you to learn this and we want you to learn that, but then you don't have the tools uh, to learn these things. So technology is the future of education. Then we have a duty, we have a responsibility, we have an obligation to provide you with those tools. My name is Mr. Roberto Bautista. I'm the English teacher at Excelsior High School in Belize City. The program right now that is the forefront of this is Google Classroom. And within that platform, it is well categorized whereby I could have classwork. And it is up to me if I want to utilize, for example, an electronic library. I could have materials for the day. I could have a quiz corner. I could even have an intuitive section for games where students could utilize games for other subjects areas for science, for technical drawing, the, uh, the possibilities are endless. It is as simple as customizing your social media and the teacher along with them will look at other tools that they will find online that they could embed within this classroom that students could use in various ways. My name is Paddy Hyde. I'm in third form at Excelsior High School. I've noticed a change with these devices. It makes it easier in the class for me and for my classmates. It's easier because we do research for anything. If we don't know something, we just go on Google and we can just research answer or information. My name is Barack Obama, everybody's and I'm from Chu Young. My favorite subject in school is math. Math. Oh, that's my dude. <laughs> <laughs> we use it in um, English. We use it in English to like, search up. Like when my teacher gives work, we call us like, look it up, look up the work, get the work done. And, he, and we, if we finish in time, we do get free time. We go, like, go online, listen to music, what's not, instead, while doing our work. We noticed a lot of change in the classroom because students get more energized about working. Like they, they find it in learning more fun. How how they, how they got the laptop now? They find it more fun. Like they like, it, they like want they like want work. They put their interest in working. There's this. There's a lesson perhaps that would pertain to literary devices that students would find very foreign, but as they begin to realize that it is incorporated into the various elements such as music that they listen to and they could view it as it is manifested on in the internet then i am able to extract these ideas and they could really see it for what it is in its essence for example a couple of students they were listening to their favorite songs and i asked them if you were to use utilize a hashtag on social media what would you use someone said i would put hashtag fight for my rights so i said well that would be the team and therefore students are able to see that concepts aren't very foreign to them it's just that they need to be able to understand it that it is not uh, culturally biased anymore it is more using technology in the classroom allows me to connect what they're used to and then embed it into learning concepts and then they could understand it clearly. Hi, my name is Jabez Mabit. I'm in 4Y at Excelsior High School. My first subject in our school are on um, science and uh, IT. Do I like technology? Yes, I like technology because it makes life way easier than before. We use it in our classes. Like yesterday, we used it in science class to research some work we had on the board about um, different types of plastics and stuff like that. There's been a significant change in the classroom since we've got these comput computers and laptops. Cause like first the class would be 
you know, here nice from we are from that office now, you know, here are known as everybody chilling on their own spot, defining their work and stuff like that. I would just like to thank the people that, that donated the laptops to us and tell them how grateful and, and how much we appreciate it. Well, I just want to tell them thanks to like, giving us the laptops, like, making the effort to like, give us laptops so um, students can have a better education in the further from future. I would want to say thank you cause, because we, we really appreciate it and we really need it. I'd like to thank the Belizean diaspora and the locals for contributing towards this initiative. This is towards a progressive movement with this generation. The students have been very receptive to it. It is something that would have to come down to the creativity of the teacher. Maybe the teacher or instructor is unaware of the potential of it. So it will be beneficial, it will be um, a testing phase, a period whereby we'll have to learn the ins and outs and certain tutorials, even troubleshooting. But essentially, the students have been able to engage, they're very receptive with it, and I could see it growing and evolving into something prosperous as time moves on.